Hello everyone and welcome to your eye health sauna. This is a video on an introduction into how to use it, how to use all of the features and the control panel, how to look after your sauna. Um, it'd be great if you could sit in your sauna whilst you're watching this video, but either way I'm gonna go through it um, and really give you a, a beautiful handover on how to get the most out of your eye health sauna. So here we go, we'll start with the control panel. Um, if I turn, it off and we'll go from the start. Uh, when you come into your sauna, usually there'll be nothing on the control panel and there'll be no light, uh, which we'll see in a moment. Okay, so to turn the sauna on, we press the on button, which is this button down here. And this is for all light and premium models. Um, you'll be familiar with this control panel. So press the on button down here, a quick uh, press, um, we'll get the control panel on. And what it shows is temperature and time on this display here. So we've pressed the button once. Now the sauna isn't heating, it's just showing the current temperature and the time on the clock. So we use the plus and the minus to set our temperature. Typical session we'd recommend between 45 and 55 degrees. Um, if you refer to your sauna sessions booklet, there's a lot more insight on different temperatures and times in there. And then we use the plus and the minus over here to set our time. Now, a typical heat up time can be anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes, depending on the ambient temperature. Obviously, if your sauna's outside and it's two degrees on a Saturday morning in South Hobart, um, it's probably gonna take a little longer to get to 45 than if it's um, 20 degrees on a Saturday afternoon in the middle of summer. So um, just keep that in mind. So typically what we recommend is come in, turn your sauna on, set your temperature that you're aiming for, and then just put the time quite high. There's a maximum of 90 minutes there. And then once everything stops flashing and we've set our temperature and our time, what we need to do is press the on button again. There we go. And we've see the third light turns on. That means the sauna is heating. Okay, so now what will happen is this, all the heaters turn on and the sauna will slowly heat up to the temperature which we set previously, which in this case, I can press these buttons to just check. So we've set it for 50. So now that the sauna is heating, the sauna will heat up to 50 degrees. And then once it gets to that temperature, it'll keep the sauna at that temperature. In fact, the saunas, uh, the heater will actually turn off for a couple of minutes, it'll drop down a couple of degrees and then they'll turn back on and it acts like a thermostat. Now that the sauna is heating, we'll see that the time will slowly count down. So come in, turn the sauna on, set your temp, set your time, press the on button again, get the sauna heating, and then you can go away for 20 to 30 minutes, have a cup of tea, maybe try a tea that we recommend in the sauna sessions book for whatever sauna session you're going to do, um, and then watch some TV, watch some Netflix, do whatever it is you wanna do, and then come back in in 20 to 30 minutes and then you'll come back in the sauna will obviously be close to the temperature that you set and the time will have gone down a fair bit more than this and then when you come back in adjust your time down to how many minutes you want to stay in there for so say you want to have a 30 minute session we'd adjust this down to 30 minutes there we go so now i can sit back relax do my thing in the sauna but I don't need to be worrying about how long I've been in there because I can just refer back to the time and then you'll see how many minutes are left. Once the heat, once the time reaches zero, the heaters turn off as a safety mechanism. You know you've been in there for that amount of time and you can either hop out or you can just with the plus button add a few more minutes onto the clock um, and then the sauna will turn back on for however many extra minutes that you add. So that's kind of how the main part of the control panel work. Now there is the additional feature of the auto function. So what the auto function allows us to do is to preset the sauna to turn on automatically up to 24 hours in advance. This is great for those of you who use the sauna first thing in the morning, or you know you're gonna get back from work at a certain time, you wanna jump into the sauna then. Um, the auto function is really, really good. So the way that works is when we press auto, it changes the display from temperature to time into hours and minutes until the sauna will turn itself on. So in this case, the sauna is gonna turn itself on in 14 hours and 54 minutes. So to give you an example, if I'm going to bed and I'm setting the sauna at 10 o'clock at night and I wanna have a sauna at 
6.30 in the morning. I want it to be warm at 6.30. That means allowing about half an hour for heat up, I want the sauna to turn on at six, which means I need to set the auto preset for eight hours. So eight hours from 10 o'clock, which is when I'm theoretically setting it. So in this sense here, I adjust this down because we're in auto, this is now hours. And over here is minutes until the sauna will turn itself on. So there we go, it's set. Now, if I was doing this, then I would turn the lights off and I'd go away and then wake up in the morning, happy days. Now, the important thing here is when we set the auto, once it counts down, the sauna will revert back to the settings that we have set normally, right? So now, as you see, I just pressed out of auto. So I'm back to the normal settings, temperature and time. So in this case here, um, it's gonna heat to 50 degrees and it's gonna heat for 34 minutes once that auto counted down. So what we need to do is to make sure that we've set our temp. So maybe we wanna go to 55, theoretically tomorrow morning. Uh, and then we just wanna put the maximum amount of time on here again. So go up to 90 minutes, just in case, you know, we, we get home a bit late. We still want the sauna to be running um, and warm for us. Or maybe we sleep in, snooze the alarm for an extra nine or 18 minutes and then uh, we're a little bit late getting into the sauna. So by putting 90 minutes uh, here, then the sauna is gonna run for 90 minutes once that auto function counts down and turns the sauna on. So just to recap, I've set the temp, I've set my time for maximum 90 minutes. Now I would hit auto and then I would set how many hours and minutes until I want the sauna to turn itself on. Um, then I'd turn the lights off and I'd go to sleep or go do whatever it is that you're doing in that time. And then when you come back in, this will have counted down and then the sauna will be heating um, as per the settings that you preset. So that's kind of how the control panel works. If none of that makes sense in premium saunas, it's all written again here on how to use it. And it's also written in our instruction manual, which you would have received with the sauna. So um, yeah, if there's any confusion there, refer back to that or watch this uh, video again. And um, yeah, just pause it where you need it and go and test it out in the sauna. And, um, get it working for you. The auto function um, is actually really, really handy. So I'd recommend giving it a go one day. So that's the control panel. Now moving on to uh, the color therapy. So the way the color therapy works is it can be turned on or off at the control panel. Um, and it can also be turned off uh, using this remote, uh, which you all would have seen. This is for people in a premium sauna. So um, when the remote synced up, uh, you can pick your color accordingly. Uh, refer to the sauna sessions booklet for different colors for different sessions. Uh, but typically, um, a color like a red is good for the evening. Um, more stimulating colors like the green or the blue are good for the morning. Um, if you can hit this button here, and that'll give you white um, compared with the other colors like this. There we go. Um, you can also adjust the brightness using this, these buttons over here. So the bottom one here lowers the brightness and the top one here increases the brightness. But that's how to use the color therapy. We also have Bluetooth in the sauna. So to connect your phone to the Bluetooth, go into the Bluetooth settings, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. look for HY, comes up as HY, and then you can just connect like you would connect to any other device. This is really cool, you can stream all of your music through your phone. You can stream your FM um, or any radio stations through any apps on your phone which is personally how I'd recommend listening to the radio. If you do want to listen to the radio in the sauna, just download the app of the station and then stream it through the Bluetooth. Yeah, if you watch any videos or anything on your phone in the sauna, then uh, you can um, stream that through the Bluetooth as well. With the essential oils, um, you'll see there is an essential oil tray 
for anyone with a premium sauna, the oil tray will be situated somewhere inside. So just half fill the tray with water and then just put a few drops of the essential oils in there. You don't need to go crazy. Personally, um, I actually just put some oils on the towels um, or if I'm doing some deep breathing, sometimes I'll actually rub some on my chest, but that's completely up to you. Um, the essential oil tray is, um, is there for a reason, so uh, give that a go. Have a trial of your own oils. Again, refer to the sauna sessions booklet for some suggestions on different oils for different sessions. In terms of maintenance, uh, we don't lacquer the interior of our saunas because we want to keep them toxin free. So if you sweat all over the timber over time, uh, you'll stain the wood. Um, so we definitely recommend um, putting a towel on the seat um, or putting a towel on or and putting a towel on the floor. Um, and that way you're going to sweat into the towels and not into the timber. Also have a third towel to wipe yourself down with um, and then that way again you're sweating into the towels. Personally for me uh, with my backrest I just sweat all over this backrest. Um, I don't put any towels between me and the backrest and the heater. Um, so yeah my backrest is getting pretty nasty. They're $70 you can buy them online every couple years that way I have a nice new backrest. Um, so yeah, that's up to you. In terms of what to wear in the sauna, some bathers can be quite, um, quite nice. Personally, I like going in naked. It's my own sacred space at home and I feel quite comfortable doing that. Um, so up to you, depends on where the sauna is and um, who can see you when you're in there. Yeah, towel on the seat, towel on the floor, have a third towel to wipe yourself down with and um, your sauna will be looking nice and clean for a long time. Um, if you do feel obliged to wipe the sauna down, just try and steer clear of any chemicals. So warm soapy water um, is best or just warm clean water um, with nothing in it. Just give it a, a nice wipe down every now and then if you feel that you like to do that. Um, if you want to freshen up the cabin, some eucalyptus essential oil um, in a little spray bottle is quite nice um, or some peppermint as well can be quite cleansing. But again, up to you. You will have to vacuum the, the floor every three to six months. It gets a little bit dusty. Um, but in terms of actual regular maintenance, there really isn't any. If you have plenty of towels in the cabin, um, you'll, you'll keep the sauna looking nice for a long time. Um, if you do happen to spill anything or stain the wood somehow, um, a bit of sandpaper is quite effective at taking out any, any stains or scratches or dints or anything like that. So... Um, yeah, feel free to, to do that to keep it looking nice and clean. Lastly, just uh, touching on the backrest as well, the correct orientation is the bit um, coming out the bottom. Uh, so coming out at the bottom, um, so it would sit like that, um, not like that. Um, yeah, just a side note, but just worth knowing that's the way that our back is actually contoured. Um, so that's how to use the backrest. As always, and we talk about this a lot, hydration is super, super important. Um, so you've got some stainless steel drink bottles with your sauna. Um, if you purchased a premium sauna, uh, if you didn't, just bring some water in there um, and make sure you're drinking at least a liter during a session. Um, half a liter beforehand is good too. Um, so hydration is super, super important no matter what sauna session you're having. Think of it as clean water in and dirty water out. A couple other little things around the cabin is you'll see um, up the top um, there is a little um, silver I don't know what you call that other than a temp sensor because that's what it is um, so that's what's measuring the temperature which is registering on the control panel so um, try not to fiddle with that one just leave it as is um, there is a vent next to the temp sensor as well um, just to let a little bit of air out I find if you leave the vent open, um, you'll actually work the sauna a little bit harder because it'll let some of the hot air out around the temp sensor, therefore the sauna will think it's a bit cooler than it is and the heaters will stay on a little bit more. So a little, little tip there if you wanna get a little bit more out of your sauna. And lastly, and most importantly, these beautiful carbon heaters. With all of our heaters, the closer you are, the more penetration of heat you'll get into the body. So don't be afraid to get up nice and close to the panels, get that heat in. You find you won't be able to do that for a full session because it gets quite warm, um, but especially at the start of that session, get up nice and close. Those with lower back issues, get that back 
right up against the heater at the bottom. Sit there and enjoy the sauna. Same with the movable heater. Um, with the movable heater, don't be afraid to get creative. Stand it up like this, target those knees. I always have some sore glutes from my running, so I get the heater up like this and really get the heat into the glute. If you're dealing with arthritic issues on your hands, put your hands on there, get that heat in. This is a really beautiful uh, tool to use in the sauna to really get that infrared heat into where the body needs it. So get creative with this. I've seen people doing all kinds of things <laughs> and I really encourage that because um, it's a really powerful tool to have in the sauna and get the most out of it. Um, one thing we don't want with the movable heater is it to do this. Um, yeah, bad things are going to happen if that happens. So um, just make sure that it's always um, facing upwards or stow it away under the seat if you're not using it, which you're welcome to. There is a switch on the top of the movable heater um, to turn it off. That's part of our electrical uh, safety standard requirement. So um, you don't actually have to turn it off and I'd always encourage leaving it on even if you're not using the heater in one of our smaller units and you want to get it out of the way, just stow it under the seat. That way it's out of the way but it's still going to bring that heat into the cabin. So that's pretty much the introduction to your eye health sauna. I hope you're excited to start using it. We are excited for you to start using it. I'm excited for you to start experiencing the benefits of infrared and everything that we have to offer at eye health saunas. Tune into our masterclasses, get on board with our Facebook group and make sure you're um, trying to engage with as, as much of our content as possible. Uh, from me, you know, sending some love to you to really look after yourself, give your body the time um, and place that it needs every day. Um, just tune in, enjoy your sauna and um, look after yourself most importantly. Um, we're excited to help you optimize your health. So happy saunering from me. Have a good day.